Here's the kitchen. Here's the doorway as you come in. It's the living room. Or the dining room. I'll turn around a little bit so you can see it. Here's the dining room. Here's the computer room. There's a living room. And here is my lovely kitchen. Come in and immediately on your right as you're I'm standing in the doorway, there is the refrigerator right here. Okay, and then my couple of cabinets. This is all the cabinetry I have. And of course everything's closed. And I covered this with the counter is covered with a yellow yellow underneath but it's unfinished. Can you see it? Let's see if I can get a little close. There. It's like yellow. Oh, it's a little bit fuzzy. Okay so anyway baby yellow and I covered it with contact paper and then on the inside of the cabinets are very narrow and they're very dingy and gross and they're old and they don't hold anything. You can see I don't have much space at all for holding stuff. So there's that. And then in my window and my sink. And then I have a couple of cabinet there where the dishwasher is going, right there. And there's the sink and then you come over and there's a couple of drawers. And that's it for the bottom cupboards. And then the top cupboard is one over the stove and one there. So that doesn't really leave you a lot of space. And then I have my pot rack holder. There's the window. And there's my table. It's a 20 year old table. It's a butcher block table, which they're going to cut up and make into a um, rolling cart, which is going to go by the window. It's going to be about a 20 inch rolling cart. Just enough to roll out if you need a little extra leverage in the room. And then my cabinets are going to go all the way to about a foot from the ceiling. So the cabinets are going to go to the floor to the ceiling. And hopefully it will be really cool. I put this little stand in a couple years ago and it's been very helpful to get things done. So I, most of the kitchen's cleaned out now. I had a lot more stuff in here. There was something over there on that wall. And um, there's my teacups, what I still have of them. And David bought me that a while ago. And Sally's pancake flour. And then my friend Vicky made that for me years ago. And that is a Italian saying that means live well, love much, laugh often. And then Vicky's gifts. And then mom gave me the bread. Amber and Dan gave me a clock. That's from mom. Um, my little wood piece from mom. Let's see if you can see it. There it is, the spiculos holder. So there's the kitchen. That's the before picture of the kitchen. And I will take a video of the after. Now the new, um, the new, uh, what's the word? Pantry is gonna go in here between the door frame and this little area here. It's gonna be in there. And it's gonna actually be in, there's a closet behind this wall here. There's a closet and it's going to go back in that area. So this is the actual doorway from the kitchen. You come around the corner and then, then you have the bathroom and then you have this old, it used to be our bedroom years ago, which is now um, a storage area, which I'm not sure what we're going to do with it after. I'll probably empty it out and strip all the wallpaper and fix it up. And I know we're going to enlarge the bathroom at some point. It's very, very small. At some point we will enlarge the bathroom, but that's where the pantry is going. It's going to use up that little area there, and he's going to open up the, and take part of the closet behind it to make a pantry. So there you go. There is my old kitchen, which will be no more in one week. In one week it will be gone. My old ceiling fan, which is the only light I have in here and the light over the sink. That's it. The light over the stove is a non-working light. It just sits there. It looks pretty, it looks grungy and just sits there. But you can see that the ceiling definitely needs work. Alright. Say goodbye kitchen.
but it's now recorded.